now, dude, live mice. Guys, welcome back to the channel where we teach you guys how to do some things with your reptiles. And we are here to educate and inspire and bring you on this journey with us as we go around and do birthdays and after school parties and whatever we can do to show the beauty of reptiles and all wildlife around us. Today, we're gonna be showing you if this is your first time how to feed your snake live mice. If this is your first time, or if this is something maybe you're like, man, what should I, shouldn't I do? Maybe you've been feeding them frozen, you're not really sure. Live mice, in my opinion, is the way to go. However, let's be honest, this right here is one big reason on why people do not like to own snakes. All right, when it comes to feeding live, I'm gonna tell you the most important step is remove them, <laughs> my bad dog, from their enclosure. Do not feed them in their enclosure because what will happen is every time you stick your hand in there, they're going to think food is coming and they're going to start striking you. Oh, look, he already knows it's it. <laughs> He's like, oh. woo, that tongue is coming out. He's sensing. I've washed my hands so it doesn't smell like mouse. Okay. It's like, okay. Oop, it's moving. But that's not what I want. Looking for that mouse. Wash your hands. But get them out of their enclosure, put them in a separate tub like we're about to do. However, it's going to be a live feeding. So this is your disclaimer. If you don't want to watch, that's fine. If you can't watch, then you probably should not be feeding them live mice. <laughs> I'm telling you, favorite day of the week, feeding day. Okay? I'm going to put this dude, I'm sorry, this girl, in this tub right here so that she's out of her enclosure. It's almost like when she gets in here, she knows what's coming next. So I usually I'll go ahead and put her in, let her hang out. She should know by now what this, this tub means. I'm telling you, these snakes are smarter than you think. <laughs> they are cute, but they serve a purpose. Okay, That's how I'm able to look at them. I will tell you this, when you come to feeding live, first step, get them out of their enclosure. Second step, when you feed them, watch them, okay? Their teeth are vicious. Do not let this mouse tear your snake up. So when I put them in here, I always make sure with something. You can use a butter knife, something like that. If this mouse needs something to chew on, make sure it's not your snake, all right? Okay. <laughs> Come here, little dude. Whoop. Climbing around on me. All right, here's your mouse, okay? Oh! Oh, yes! <laughs> Hold on, here's the mouse. I got my little butter knife, just in case the mouse needs something to bite, okay? So I'm gonna take the lid off. Honestly, she's already sitting there ready. I'm telling you, these girls, these guys already know what's coming once you continue to do it. If this is your first time, I'm gonna show you what I do, what I've always done, just to make sure the snake is the one that stays safe. There, there you go, you got it? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take the mouse. I try to put them in, especially with this red tail, she is fast to where she just hits it right in the face. And then you don't really have to worry so much right there. She got him right in the face. So I put the lid back on, let nature take its course. I didn't even need to use the knife. Whoop. Look, when they eat, they're still on that prowl, okay? So I'm always making sure this right here is when you get bit, okay? So I always make sure she knows, she comes right up to my hand. Wash your hand, I'm telling you, if your hand smells like a mouse, you're gonna get bit. Very, very gently, whoop, I pick her up. And once I get to here, usually she's right back to her beautiful tame self. I'm gonna put her back in her cage, she's good to go. That, my friends, is how you do it, All right? But don't be slinging them around. They're likely to regurgitate whatever they ate. You definitely don't want that to happen. I love feeding day. Don't you look? I think she likes feeding day too. She's like, yeah, I get a mouse. Woo! <laughs> yes. Time to put her back. Look, I'm gonna do it super easy. 
It's nice and gentle. Right down on top. I kind of let her let go of me. So that she goes about her business. Yes! Yes! That's your first time telling you. The first time I ever fed a snake, I was like, what? What? Yes! Woo! Telling you, it's exciting. Just make sure you do it right, all right? <laughs> Get them out that enclosure. Yes! I told you, best day of the week, feeding day. Obviously, this is the ball python. He's going next. Camera shy. What can I say? But I'm telling you, remember, first time feeding a little snake, a live mouse, first step, take him out of the enclosure. Second step, make sure that mouse, rat, whatever, doesn't tear up your snake, okay? A lot of people use tongs, a lot of people just drop them in, a lot of people do whatever. I like to try to control the mouse, so that way I know the snake, whoosh, as soon as he bites on, baby, it's right down the face. All right, it might be awful, but I'd rather my snake stay healthy. Third thing, take him out when he's done, give him something to see, make sure you wash your hands, okay? You should always wash your hands anyway. Make sure you wash your hands so that way it doesn't smell like a mouse, okay? I'm saying in my experience, live has always paid off. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned a little something, get a little passion, okay? Always aim to educate, inspire, all right? When we're going around, I'm trying to build a business. I want a business to where I can go around and show the young generations how beautiful these misunderstood animals are. All right, so until next time, make sure you guys subscribe. Keep up with the journey, baby. All right, and make sure you got a passion for wildlife, especially reptiles. See ya.